Alzheimer's disease. Hello, my name is Dustin, and I'd like to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Every 60 seconds, someone in America is diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and as our population ages, the number of people with this disease will rise over 15 million by the year 2050, and we don't have a single drug that can stop it. I'm sure many of you have experienced what it's like to watch someone struggle with this devastating disease. If not, let's imagine holding your newborn child for the first time. For those of us without one, imagine what a profound moment that must be. Think about watching them grow and learn, have a family of their own, the memories you share along the way. Now picture yourself in a nursing home, standing before them, and you don't have any idea who they are. That's what Alzheimer's does. It doesn't just take lives, it robs us of our very identities. We lost Grandpa to Alzheimer's in 2007, but he lost us in 2005. No one should have to experience that. My research focuses on the connection between the heart and the brain, and there's a big one. We're all familiar with good cholesterol versus bad cholesterol, right? Well, it turns out that good cholesterol is just as important for your brain as it is for your heart. So get out there and buy a treadmill after this talk. See, it turns out that low levels of HDL, that's the good cholesterol, are associated with increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. And in our lab, we've shown that by increasing HDL function, we can effectively treat Alzheimer's disease in mice, reducing the buildup of toxic plaques that cause Alzheimer's disease memory loss. These plaques are filled with a protein called amyloid beta, which is being produced in the brains of every one of us in this room right now. Scary, right? But the brain has a number of cells called glia that are normally able to clear away this toxic protein faster than it's produced, kind of like a sponge. So if we think of the brain like a kitchen, then you know, we make dinner, we make a mess, but we clean it up with the sponge. But as we age and our good cholesterol starts to function less effectively, these cells, the sponge, loses its ability to clear away the toxic proteins fast enough. The sponge gets kind of grimy. But if we could clean the sponge, then we could get the kitchen back in order. So my plan then, my research, is to find out if we can use a drug that mimics good cholesterol to clean the sponge and boost the brain's ability to clear away toxic proteins, thereby rescuing memory function in Alzheimer's disease. And by using mouse models of Alzheimer's disease, we can pick the safest and most effective drug to move forward to human clinical trials. Alzheimer's likes to fight dirty, but I think we can clean it up. Thank you.